Hey guys, Queen of Hearts here and welcome back to another video. It is the first video of 2023. Happy New Year. It's been a minute, huh? We'll talk about that. Um, so I'm super excited to be filming this video because of course it is the first video of the year, but it's also my first Q&A um, of 2023. So I haven't done one of these in a while. I asked you guys to ask me some questions on Instagram. I have them pulled up. So, um, let's just get into it. I also have some tea here because I am under the weather. So, let me take a sip. Whew. That lemon is strong. I was asked this one, I think, three times. Um, someone said, what made you start YouTube? Um... what got you into doing youtube so that was two questions so they're kind of similar i'll go ahead and um answer that so what made me start my youtube i used to get a lot of questions just about my hair where i got certain things from um and i've always been a creative person my whole life so i felt it wouldn't be fair for me to keep these things um away from people who truly want to know and for people who also were just like me needing a way to um needing a place to be creative and have that creative outlet um that's why i started my youtube journey um i remember when i first got into youtube i was watching who was i watching jayla jayla corian i don't watch her too much um now but she um definitely made me want to start my youtube journey i think i started this channel in 20 and 2015 so it's been some time i have not been consistent um at the least bit but yeah so i just started this youtube channel to be my creative self and to help others who also needed to have that creative space to feel open to do so there was a part two to this question um what has a youtube journey taught you um youtube has taught me my personal journey on youtube has taught me to um always be myself like don't go for trends um i think i feel like i've said this before my channel could be so much further if I was like a person who followed trends, but that's definitely not me. Um, I'm a very, sorry y'all, that's my alarm. I have a meeting in about 10 minutes. First of all, yeah, it's like seven something in the morning. Um, but anyways, I have always been my true authentic self. Um, on YouTube and I think that's the base of my audience here and I'm super super grateful because a good a good percentage of y'all know me in real life um, I'm goofy I I'm just myself and there's just there is good things that come from that aside from a person who's always following trends always wanting to hop on to the the next fad like that's not me and youtube has taught me that your audience is your base audience is people that you um want to be with you forever like i don't want people to follow me just because um i did a prank video on my boyfriend stuff like that stuff that's not authentic i i don't want that type of um following i want people who go through real life because i go through real life and this is um whatever i put on here i'm not saying it's my whole life but it's real like and that's just the type of person that i am so youtube has taught me to always be my authentic self to um be to be uh helpful um people come on here for advice and i remember a video that i posted on here i was going through a really bad breakup and i helped so many women get through um 
similar situations. So I'm just grateful for this platform um, and how it has taught me to be my myself and to speak my truth because it's going to help and affect someone else down the line. So yeah, I told y'all I was a little under the weather. I apologize if I keep sniffing. Another question was um, regarding YouTube. It says, what are your plans with YouTube moving forward? Will you be more consistent with posting? <laughs> uh, yes, I am trying, definitely trying to be more consistent. Like I told y'all, my job has taken over my entire life and it's something that I do not like. I'm really trying to find a balance. So my plans with YouTube are to post more consistently. I would love to be posting twice a week, but I am definitely um, gonna discipline myself to at least post once a week. Um, that's what I can give right now. And um, the thing is, I just don't want to give up my dreams and aspirations for a job that, you know, just want me to make them their next dollar. So um, yeah, I will be posting more consistently um, because I personally have goals to reach on this platform. So yes, girl, I'm gonna be more consistent. Um, another question was, what inspired you to start doing makeup? So um, I've been into makeup for a really long time. Um, as most of y'all, or some of y'all know, my best friend is a makeup artist. Um, and you know, just cause I think that there was another question asking how I learned how to do makeup. So watching her, um, watching YouTube and just practicing on myself, um, makeup takes practice, practice, practice. Like you cannot get away from it. It's not gonna be perfect every time. You just have to do what works for you. Um, but people, I guess people see me taking clients now and they wonder like, hold on, my camera, I need storage, one sec. My bad y'all, I needed more storage. But yeah, people see me taking um, clients now and I, I guess you wonder like what started me into that. First of all, I have, with the practice, um, I've gotten better at makeup and I guess people trust me to do their makeup now so why not turn it into money? It's a gift, right? So yeah, I hope that answers your question but I just, like makeup um do i like wearing it all the time no i only put on makeup if i have to do something um and on the weekends like i don't wear makeup to work um i hate sitting in makeup for a long time um but i i love makeup i love how it enhances um everyone's beauty so yeah it's 7 55 y'all i gotta hurry up um someone said Hey, you're cute and I love your content. Curious, do you have interest in women? Thank you and no. No interest in women, sorry. Um, somebody said, can you send me $500? Girl, bye. Um, another question was, how long did it take you to perfect applying your wigs? Girl, if only y'all could see what my hair, my real hair be looking like under them wigs. <laughs> Babe, it's because I don't know how to braid my hair. I know how to braid, but it's not flat. And then it'd be chunky, so sometimes my wigs don't be flat. I just do the best I, do the best I can with what I got. That's that's just that's it i wouldn't say that i'm a perfectionist y'all TikTok, youtube are your best friends when trying to learn how to do something and for wigs i just feel like it's trial and er error you just really have to take your time not be in a rush and um trust the process so yeah i hope that answers it another question was um Let's do goals for the year. Cause I only have a couple minutes. So my goals, first of all, 
I will tell y'all that 2023, I said that I was not making any plans. I was invited on trips, um, you know, to go places. And I have said no to everything because this year I truly want to focus on leveling up. I want to focus on um, my credit. I want to focus on just being in a place um, individually where I have the say so like I don't like being told no um, I like being able to get what I want and I feel like at my big age 30 um, I want to be at a place where I truly have my together so that's what I'm working on this year just being more financially stable um, building my savings um, increasing my credit and just sacrificing short term so I can live the life that I want to live um, I have some pretty scary um, dreams realistic dreams for myself that I have to reach because I don't want to live a life of um, I could have did could have did or should have did would have did um, I don't want to live that kind of life like I truly want to go after everything that I dreamt of as a child so I'm making this sacrifice now now if y'all see me on a trip mind your business because I deserve it. I do work work really hard so um, <laughs> yeah bear with me but that's the goal this year just to um, be a better woman um, personally for myself and for those around me I want to be able to live a life of freedom I want to elevate everything in my life so that's where I am um, I have one minute let's see the next question is what is the next question so yeah, I believe I believe that is all. Um, like I said, a lot of questions were asked um, by, a lot of the same questions were asked by multiple people. So that's all of the questions. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love y'all. Bye.